What's good, people? It's your brother, YK. In decades-old missing person case solved after relative uploads DNA to genealogy site. Now, this video is for all the abos who say things like DNA testing is a hoax or DNA testing is for entertainment purposes only. How many times you've heard them say DNA is for entertainment purposes only. Now let's go. Almost 54 years ago, a Boy Scout troop leader in Sivy Island, Oregon, stumbled upon a shallow grave. In the buried dirt seemed to be some forgotten clothing. In reality, it was the remains of a teenage girl. Her entire body in skeletal form was discovered underneath the grave, as well as pieces from a black curly wig. According to the Oregon State Police, at the time, investigators said the body showed clear signs of foul play. For decades, the identity of the young woman remained a mystery until Thursday. State authorities identified the woman as Sandra Young, a teenager from Portland who went missing between 1968 and 1969. Her identity was discovered through advanced DNA technology, which helped solve stubborn cold cases in recent years. So DNA is not a hoax. DNA testing is not for entertainment purposes only in this case shows it all right the case's breakthrough came last year in january when a person uploaded their dna to the genealogy database jedmatch and a tool immediately determined that the dna donor was a distant family member of young according to oregon state police Young's DNA was already in databases used by law enforcement to help identify missing persons. From there, a genetic genealogist working with the local law enforcement helped track down other possible relatives and encouraged them to provide their DNA. That work eventually led to Young's sister and other family members who confirmed that Young went missing around the same time that a body was discovered in the far north end of Sivy Island. Young went to Grant High School in Portland, which is less than an hour's drive south of Sivy Island. She was between 16 and 18 when she was last seen in the city. Over the years, the state's medical examiner's office used a variety of DNA techniques to try to identify Young. Those tools predicted that Young had brown skin, brown eyes, and black hair. It also determined that Young was likely of West African, South African, and North European descent. She worked to identify the girl from Savi Island. In 2018, the medical examiner's office received a federal grant that would fund new DNA testing. And the results were, were striking. And as you saw in the picture, there's this composite of what her facial features were predicted to look like based on her genetics. So stop saying, Abos, that DNA is for entertainment purposes only because they use DNA to predict her skin color, her eyes, her hair, and who she was, West African, all right? The Portland Police Bureau had been notified about the breakthrough in a case and encouraged to conduct further investigation to determine, if possible, the circumstances of Sandy Young's death. Oregon State Police said the Portland Police Bureau and Young's family 
did not immediately respond to requests for comments. But in an interview with Portland State Station, Cohen Six, Young's nephew, Laura Kiko Burkett Gibbs said there are still a lot of unanswered questions. I know it's still being investigated, but I think there needs to be more investigation about this, Gibbs said. The person who did this needs to pay for what they've done. Over the years, missing persons cases have disproportionately affected communities of color. In 2022, about 546,000 people were reported missing in the U.S., with more than a third identified as black youth and women. And even though black people make up just 13% of the U.S. population, they represent close to 40% of all missing person cases according to the Black and Missing Foundation. So we have read the article, Decades Old Missing Person Case Solved After Relative Uploads DNA to Genealogy Site. So with all this information, we should not be saying that DNA tests are for entertainment purposes only. We should not be saying DNA is a hoax. You should be getting your DNA test to find out who you truly are. But see, abos will not get the test because they know that it will prove that they have African ancestry and that they are more African than they are Indian. This is why they will never take the test. The same reason why they will never show their genealogy. And if they do show the genealogy, it's going to prove that they have African ancestry, just like what happened to the Abo brother the other day. So with that being said, it's your brother, YK The Truth. Share the video. Support the channel. It's your brother, YK, and I'm out. Peace.